to meet you. Uh, it's so wonderful to have you here. I'm your number one. Oh! <laughs> It's gotta be surreal. It's a tour inside it, it, my own head. Yeah, yes, it is. To yeah. see a whole different incarnation of what you wrote, mm -hmm. and then the movie, and but then a mix or a blend. The thing and is, the audience has a ball. With us. They're having a ball tonight. <laughs> we were on the Concord. We were going to England, and I fell asleep, and I had a dream about a woman who had a, a pig that she had named after a romance writer, and she got the writer, and in the story which was called the Annie Wilkes edition. She was going to get him to write the book, then kill him and bind the book in his skin. Oh. <laughs> feed him to the pig, feed him to the pig and bind the book in his skin. We got to London, we were staying at Brown's Hotel. We had two little kids. I couldn't sleep, they all fell asleep, but I was like jet lagged and I had this idea I wanted to write it. And I went downstairs and I said, is there a place where I can write? And they gave me tea. They sat me at this beautiful desk on the landing between what they call the bottom floor and the first floor. And I wrote all night. And I drank tea and I got the first two or three chapters all written longhand. And the guy said, after, I said, that was fantastic. He said, well, you know, that was Rudyard Kipling's desk. Oh and he died at it. <laughs> 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 well, you give great Annie, <laughs> you give great Paul, <laughs> and I hope you'll be very happy together. <laughs>